hello welcome back to the channel welcome back to a brand new video and this week on the old magic roundabout we've got a bit of an icon it's the corgi toys bond bug there you go look at this as you have a look at this going round, i just like to welcome any new friends of the channel welcome aboard thank you very much and welcome back all the old friends of the channel good to see you good to hear from you Thanks for sticking around. Right. These are becoming quite popular again now. So we'll get it off the magic. Get it on a bench. And have a good look at it. Okay. Let's have a closer look at this. Look at the base first. Corgi Toys. Whiz Wheels. Bond Bug. 700E. There you go. This one made. Yeah. Mazak. Go on there. We've got three rivet, three posts to drill out. One medium at the back and two small at the front. This will be interesting to see how that goes back together. Okie doke. I've got a set of decals for this. Um, one each side of the door. I think there's one on the back. I'm not sure. And there's a strike goes across there. All right. These are becoming quite popular again now, quite sought after. I did see one of these years ago in an MOT station when I was younger, getting my escort um, MOT'd, and there was one of these in front of me, just getting done. Okay, right, the front lifts up. Pretty basic machine inside. There's a little dashboard, and we get a bit of a pointer. If you can see that, there's the dashboard there. It's got the uh, speedo there, gear stick and brake. I think that's all you needed in this thing. Right. Okay, so I'm just looking at it as I go. I've not had one of these apart yet. So Airfix have just recently released their um, Bond Bug. They've had it hidden away for many years. Everybody's going mad over it and buying it and doing it. So let's get up, have a go at one of these. Like I say, there's not much to it. There's the clip there. What clips in? What clips into there? You see if the door's in the way, and we get out and we get it closer. There's a little clip, silver clip there. When that goes into, and you can see it from the back there. Okay, it clicks down like that. Alrighty. All one colour. I'm hoping these axles will drop out. Well, well, we'll have a look anyway. So that's it. We could do some extra details, the lights. We do a bit on the dashboard. Do something with these front lights. Put a number plate on it. Yeah. Okay. Let me get the drills out, the tools out. And we'll get this base drilled out. Okay. Right. Now, that wasn't as easy as it would look. Uh, let's have a look. You've got to be careful of. That one's not so bad. It's easy enough to get out. These two front ones, because you look how close they are to the edge of that base plate. Really, really close. And there's not a lot of room to get a leverage anywhere around there once that's in tight. I've tried going through underneath there. Be good care if you don't bend that. So I drilled them out very slowly and very carefully. Lifted the back end, and I thought, well, I'm not going to go any further lifting it up because I don't want to bend that and snap it. But <clears throat> eventually, got one side and slid my screwdriver down to one side, just tweaking it as I went like that and got it off. Yeah, once one come off, the other come off. But what I didn't know was that it got rear suspension on this, which is broken. Um, so anyway, you get the plate off. Okay, and then your, your back wheels just drop out, which is good. Okay, that's your base plate. All right, so we've got that undamaged, which is cool. Now, front one, as you would expect, would just come straight out. Like that, single axle. Now, what you're looking at now, you can see this here hanging on 
by the skin of its teeth. That's the suspension bracket. It should be on the other side, but that's not here. It's disappeared, so don't know where that is. Just know, what's that all about? Then? Oh, I just noticed something. Which one it is? We'll have a look in a second. Anyway, <clears throat> I'll diverse. This is for the uh, the spring for the, the bonnet, obviously. There you go, on the rocker there, catches it. So that's what that is. And then we get the interior, should just lift out, hopefully. There you go, just lift out. And the seats there. Excuse me, paint my fingers, I should be painting something. Now, what's curious is what's this spring in aid of? It doesn't seem to do anything, does it? Anybody know what that spring's for? Oh, yeah, that'll be for this, won't it? That's just dropped out. Yeah, that'll be for this, won't it? Yeah. Oh, I see, and then I suppose then he can... To release it, you... Yeah, that's it, isn't it? That'll pop up like that, and then you... I suppose if you press that... I don't know, I suppose so. Press, press it up, or... That'll be a way of opening it, won't it? Got to be, it's the only thing I can think of. Because that's, that's in there, spring's in there. Once that's in there, click down, I presume you can either pull that down. Yeah, yeah, you just pull it down, don't you? Then you just drop it down like that, and it should release that from the top. Yeah, that's cool. Didn't know that was in there. Right, so that's another thing to be careful of then, the springer. So we'll get this off then. And it just comes out, just pulls out the bottom. Like that, I'll suggest you keep that. Yeah, that's attached in there. So we'll keep that attached in there for the time being. Then obviously that just pulls out, comes out of, the, out of there, as a normal bonnet would. There you go. Now your glass is it hasn't got a post, it's got these two little clip overs here. So we're gonna to have to get them out. And the glass seems to go Yeah, the glass goes outside the frame, sits on the front of the frame there by the look of it. It's quite loose to a point I don't know how you would yeah I'm going to try and, I'm going to try and tweak these together slightly I have to be careful that I don't scratch this or on the inside because the inside of the windscreen is a nightmare to clean right okay we'll leave that for a second okay steering column yeah I think that just pulls pushes out there that's easy peasy, isn't it? Look. There you go. I'm not going to take that off. There's no need. No need to take that off. That's it. We have it. It's like a sledge now, don't it? Yeah. You can see the uh, interior detail. Gear stick and brake. There. Okay. All right. So that's that for stripping. That's that for stripping. Put these in the ultrasonic. I think I'll chuck these in the ultrasonic as well. Actually, the wheels aren't too bad. The um, uh, wheels themselves, they're not too badly scuffed. So we can get away with that. Well, that's come straight out. That's cool. That. <clears throat> I think this is, yeah, I think it's plastic. Yeah, I think it's plastic. So we'll give it an ultrasonic clean anyway. That's, those three go in the ultrasonic. Come here. And I'm going to work and get this glass out. I don't know if I should do it on camera or not. Let's see what we can do here. It might just tweak a little bit. If it all goes tits up now. We're in trouble. Oh, 
We're in trouble. Yeah, right. I really don't like doing this sort of stuff. Just want to get one side tweaked out. Without putting too much pressure on the glass, trying to get in between the the, the thing and the the thing and the thing and we bob. Just want a little bit, don't want a lot. She's nearly there. Right, okay. Let me try. All these bad boys, they might get in. They've got a bit more of a, a bit more of a bite to them. Or have they? No, they haven't. Right, let me mess about this off camera. But yeah, this is what it is. You're looking at these two here are bent over, gripping that glass. So I could, if I was really, really going to risk it, do that at the back, and I could crack it. Or you could squeeze it too much because you can see that the screen goes underneath the front of this here. Okay. So it's got to come out from the back, really. You can move it slightly. It's moving back and forwards, but that's about all it is doing. Okay. So let me have a look at that. The other thing is I could grind them off and just glue this back in. But when you lift it up, you're going to see blue mark, aren't you? Unless I use that crystal clear. Anyway, let me, let me have a look. Alrighty, go. That was a mission. Yeah, I managed to get these in a bit more. But then when it was free, it still wouldn't come out. And what I saw was that one of these window units, this side, this side was okay, but this end bit had got itself somehow, whether it's done at the factory, I don't know. But this edge of it was pushed into the opening, if you know what I mean. So it was stuck in, it was wedged in there. So I got my trusty palette knife, artist palette knife, and I managed to get to underneath there. And just tweak it, tweak it, free it that side. And that's when I saw that it was stuck in there. So then I had to go in from the this gap and then gradually just ping it so it went inside and it came out. So it was a bit of a... I had tools all over the bench trying to get the without breaking it. Uh, but we got there in the end. So now... I'll put it back in to show you now. I can't get it out. It should just come out. There you go. It's coming now. There you go. Yeah. It caches. It's this edge here. The outer edge on there and on there catches on the window edge. So be careful of that. But we've done it without damaging anything. So, yeah, it's one of them things that you need be fiddling about i could do it on camera but it would have took me ages and the video would have been like an hour long two hours long just me getting that out so yeah we're going to put a, a bit of crystal clear put this back in a bit of crystal clear and we'll just tweak those over slightly to hold it in place when we go backwards so that can go in the ultrasonic and this can be stripped there we go that's out of stripper bomb bug and there's a fly buzzing around my ear on it's doing my head in. So I'm going to go and kill that now and I'll be back. Okay then, here's our little bond bug. Out of the caustic. It took some getting off, I must admit. That orange was sticking on there. That weren't coming off in any... in a hurry. Yeah, it sounds like too bad. Excuse me. Oh dear. 
As you can see what I've done here, in the casting itself, they've made it look, try to look like canvas, because these are canvas doors. Yeah. So that's pretty good. Uh, the base, it's all kind of clean. They've got little shockers on the back there, look, little shock absorbers on the back here. That funky. We'll try and pick them out if you like. Probably do some red springs or something. Right now. I'm going to quite look a uh, quick look on um, Google Images on these things. There's quite a few things different with this casting um, than the, the original. First one is the seats. Got to go in like so. I'll just show you that of a matter of interest. Now, if you look, the distance between the seat and the floor is not a lot. Not a lot, but the original, it was quite deep. Get your feet underneath. So that's one difference. And the seats were black. Most of the seats were black. The other thing is, have a look at that headlight. See, it's big lump, in it? Ugly big lump sat on the front there. Well, if you look at Google Images, you'll see that that piece, the back piece, is angled down. Yeah. So what I've started doing on this side, obviously you ain't got a lot of room. See, I've angled it down. You see? Yeah. So I took some off the top. As you can see a big lump on there. I've took, flattened the top off, rounded it slightly, and brought it down at a bit of an angle. But you have to be careful because there's a bonnet hinge it's there. But it doesn't want to be much. It just wants to be enough to to notice it, if you know what I mean. And also, it's just took a bit of the top off because it was a bit high. Um, yeah, so I just thought I'd do that. And I've this body line here, I'll file that down a bit flatter because it was sticking out too far. There you go. Now, the interior I'm going to do with this is going to spray all orange, obviously. The seats are black. Um... There's a dashboard dial there. That'll be black. Gear stick will be black. Hand brake will be black. But there's a little inset in there. That'll be black as well. And the steering wheel, if I can do it. I'm just going through this now so I don't forget. The steering wheel, which goes in. Something like that. I can't remember now. I found, but yeah, it goes in. Slides in there anyway. What I need to do, I'm going to try and do it, is put a bit of plastic card from here to attach there, because that's what I did have. Because it's a long column, there's a, an arm. If you look on the images, an arm comes across there, and it clamps around that wheel there. Okay, so I'm going to try and do that. So here we go. And a back panel, this back panel is black, up to the window edge, there. But the, de the decals don't give you that. Okay. So, that's what we're going to do, I'll paint that in black. Right, so, we're ready for, for me going to finish this off now. I've got to finish, do, do, do this headlight. Just use the needle files, like I've got here. And, you know, just... Get it on a solid surface and file away. We'll get that one done and then we'll uh, clean it up and get some primer on it. I'm going to use a white primer on this because I've got some, it just says bright orange, a lot of them are bright orange or lime green. I haven't got it, excuse me, bloody hell, I ain't got it in lime green, so it'll have to be orange. And I've got some signal orange, so I'm going to put some white primer down on the top okay in a bit okay then <clears throat> we're out of paint uh it did get a bit carried away but yeah we're out of paint signal orange come out quite nice it's the top this is the base if 
button. Okay. Now what I've done here, as you can see, why I say got carried away, I was looking at Google Images, and apparently, if you look, they've got a bar that comes up at the side, across the top of the dash, and attaches to the steering wheel. I'm assuming that's because it's just a long shaft that it stops it from bending. So I've just put that on with a plastic card. I was just trying it out, actually, and it worked, so I thought, oh, I'll leave it in there. Now, the black behind it, here, you see that black there, well, that's actually electrical tape because also if you look on google Images, you'll see this is padded from here to the front there it's padded because obviously the engine's in here and it's like a soundproofing padding and it's black okay so i've done that i put that in steering wheel's not being attached yet so it keeps flopping about don't worry about that just try and get that out for now just pull it out, that's it. Well, then this goes in, and what I've done also is I've pushed that spring, hit that with an hammer, tightened it up there before I painted it, obviously, and then bent it a little bit. So when it goes in, it goes in under pressure. There, look, it goes in, it's going in under pressure. All right, so when it's when you do release it, it should. not spring up like that but it'll it'll come up a little bit okay it's a bit it's not loose if you know what i mean so then it comes up and you can have a look obviously it's got no base on it but yeah it'll come up so far and you can see inside okay so that's where we're at the minute now I'm going to experiment as well. It's a black floor. They're black floors either side. Oh, and I painted the seats. I changed them from an horrible colour to a black, which they should be black. So there you go underneath there. Got your black seats. All right. Now we're getting on to the detail painting, but first I want to try a couple of things. We're going to paint these floors black. The gear stick was black, the handbrake's black. There is a black insert in there, but oh, it's too, it'd be too tricky to get in it. There's the um, speedometer. That's black. That should be flat, not sticking out like that. But it doesn't matter, yeah. So that'll be black there. What else? Yeah. Now the back panel. It doesn't give you the decals. Don't come for this back panel. There's a black back panel. Comes down there. Down there. It, it follows that line of body there. There, And it comes to the top of the light. A little black panel. Okay. So I don't know if I'm going to try. And put it in with this. Okay, because it was like a canvas thing. Because the doors also, even though they're rough like that, these were like a canvas door. But I'm going to put a decal on there and put some marker set, the red marker set in it, so it will sink into these little dimples. All right. So that's where we are at the minute. Um, I've cleaned up the spring. That's cleaned up. That goes in the back there. Uh, well, Painted the wheels. Three of them anyway. Yeah, these are the decals. These are for the doors. That goes over the back with these, and that goes on the front. So we detail painting in a bit. Uh, the springs, where are they? On the base. I'm just going to put a bit of red on them. Dry brush and red on there, on the springs. Because this axle, in reality, in, in real life, this axle was actually exposed. And I think, I can't remember now, let's have a look. Because this axle goes in right tight in there. 
yeah so that's sorry that's your that's your back axle like your diff or whatever your springs and that there but in reality you could see a lot of that but we might have a little bit of a tricky problem coming because when I was trying to fit this dry fit it as I repaired that black, black back suspension piece <clears throat> it comes really close on there really 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 close so it might have a bit of a jiggery pokery to get that in there because it goes over the hole rivet hole and then sits like that it doesn't actually do much in the way of touching if you know what I mean it's difficult to show you at the minute because it's awkward but yeah it comes right to the right to the edge there so you've really got to do a bit of finessing to get that in there so it sits right it's got to sit right up against that back there you go it's got it now so you've got to get that located right when you uh, put it together because you can see it's right up against the back there that's like a right against the stops at the back for the suspension to work right that's where we are that's the update on this so apart from the decals on there and there there's not a lot else to detail paint on that all right these were fiberglass anyway so that can be left to the decal stage steering wheel can go in, in a bit I need to paint this bit black and start doing the interior there I need to paint these lights and then big old fog lights. See, it looks better now. I've took the angle off, like you can see it better now. Now I'll slope that angle down. It's a lot better, I think. Do these front lights. Alrighty. So, I'm going to see what I can do with this back panel. I'll do that off camera because I'm going to be messed about trying to do stuff. I'm going to measure it up and try it. Because it might be awkward to paint that. Right. Back in a bit. Okay, as you can see, the bench is a bit of a tip. I've been busy experimenting and doing stuff. Right, okay, let's see what we're doing. Done some details on there. I showed you before the arm going across the steering arm, hold it together. I've done the floor, I've done it in a, in a mat. And uh, I've left it a little bit on a rough side so it looks like carpet. Done the gear stick and the handbrake. I haven't done the headlights or anything else yet. I've done the, the back panel on there. Okay. Because it doesn't come as a decal. I didn't want to paint it. So I used some masking tape. or some Tamiya tape. Cut it to shape. Painted it with a permanent marker. Let it dry and then put it on. It seems right, actually. Pretty good. So, that's that. So I thought, okay, we'll go down that route. And I'm looking at Google Images, as I do. And uh, where has it gone? Oh, yeah. So I thought, right, but these were canvas doors on here, all the way up. You can either take them out or you can wind them down or whatever. And there's a, and there's a chrome piece. Went like that. So I thought, right, okay. The decal only does that little bit there. But the rest of it's all black. If you look on there, you'll see it more black. And I think they're removable doors and they go in the boot there. In there, that's a little tiny thing. So what I did was I got some masking tape. And I did that. And I've done it purposely with masking tape. And, and what, because to simulate like a... It's a canvas material. So I'm trying to get it to look like a bit like that rather than just a shiny black panel, because it wouldn't be shiny black panel, because it's not, it's material. And I've done down the edge and down there, but I haven't done the inside. I'd, I bottled it to come the inside, because I think it'll look a mess, but this is good enough. And there's the chrome piece around the outside. So that's what I'm doing. So how I did it, was I got some, I got some of that frog tape, because it's the widest that I've got. And um, I'll put it on there.
and of course burnish it all round best you can got my cocktail stick because it goes in you need to go in there around there Takes it, it takes a bit of messing about doing it, but that's a general idea. So I'm out shot there, sorry, and then burnish it all round. Okay. A bit like doing an aircraft canopy, I suppose, in a model. Get it in there. What I did then, I got my sharp blade, brand new scalpel blade. Okay, and then I'm going along. Is this the new one? Yeah. So I'm going to slice my fingers. And go along carefully. Cut this out. So you see what we're doing, don't you? All right. So we're having a bit of a bit of fun. Enjoy yourself doing something a bit different. If it don't work out. It don't work out, is it? At least you've had a go, haven't you? At least you've had a go. Hopefully that'll come off all the way around there now. A little bit there. Being a bit stubborn just there. There you go. All right, so that's that bit. Okay. You get a bit close if you want. You get a bit closer to the edge there with the trimming. And then just get in there and do your do your thing on the inside. There you go. There. <laughs> it take every bloody way. And then you just get it all rubbed down. Get all the shapes in there. Get your fingers in there, get it a good old rub down. Okay. I've got my camera at a funny angle. No, it's not. 
going on here? I must have knocked it. I was going to take it off again. Once I cut it out like this, take it off. And then put it on the bench and use the marker pen. But I thought to myself, if I do that, I'm going to struggle to get it back on properly because of these, it's quite thin here and there. So I thought I'd risk it for a swisk it and do it with it on there. Yeah, I mean, I think it looks all right. It's, yeah, I mean, it's, the basket tape could have been a bit smoother, but at the end of the day, it is a, um, it is a thing, isn't it? It's a canvas door, so you're going to get it, aren't you? No matter what happens. So, yeah. I'm just going just to show you something in a minute, boys. Hold on, don't, don't run away. Don't run away. Talk about yourselves for a second if it loads. Your bucket ain't going to load now, is it? No, nah, not going to load. Apologies for that. I was going to show you. I was going to show you a picture, but my it, it won't. The internet's not great at my shed, and it won't load. But yeah, look for yourselves anyway. So then get marker pen, and then just go over it. Like that. Make sure you cover all the tape. Doesn't matter if it goes over the chrome bit, I can clean it off because it's scraped anyway. You see? Go on the inside of your windows. Try not to get too much on the inside if you're not going to paint the inside. Just lots of add in there. Just a little bit in that corner there. Come around. And then do from the top and there. And from here down there. That's it. There you go. That's what I did there. Apologies if it's a long video, but I thought I'd show you that. Something different, something interesting. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to carry on with the details. Now, I'm not going to show any more painting of the details because it's taking too long. Okay, you'll see it when it's uh, assembly time. Decals are done then. On the side. Side there. On the front. Got a number of plates on there. Back and front. <clears throat> One thing I wasn't impressed with was the decal went across the back there. So these are like a satin finish on them and that i'm not impressed with that at all but it is what it is gotta live with it ain't you right okay we're all done there's no detail decals on there so that's it really um i'll put the steel wheel back in because it has to be connected to my my piece i put over there so that looks, looks all right the spring in the back oh i don't need to do that this little piece in the back there, it just fits on two, it just fits on them little rockers at the bottom, and a spring goes in there. There's nothing, there's not rocket science, it sits in. These never operate properly anyway. The idea is, it's just a catch, that there, to lock the lid down like that, it goes backs and forwards, and you just see it going backs and forwards. That's all it does, nothing else. And they generally get worn and they don't work. I've tried this several times and I, it, it won't spring. It doesn't spring up. It's just to lock it in place. Um, so that's that bit. 
I put the window unit in last night because I use I use the um, crystal clear because it's obviously with the lid open you're going to see it. So that's be a half decent job. So assembly wise, it's quite straightforward really. Not much going on. Uh, seats go in. We go in that bit. Front bar goes in there. So it's just a matter of whacking it together nothing special so i'm going to quickly put this together and then we'll get it on the magic okay this is what we started with old corgi toys bond bug as you can see it's all play worn decals wearing off so we had some fun with this so have a look see how it turned out see what you think have a look at this bad boy here we are then our little bomb bug all done and dusted looking pretty smart yeah there's a yeah a lot of young couple there he's going to sell them this bomb bug he knows they want it anyway there you go all done nice little project this one i'll put extra details on it because i think it really needed it it's quite boring just the one colour all over yeah yeah apologies for a bit longer video but you know I'm just showing you different bits and pieces that I'm doing and that's it you're all done extra details as you saw me doing them yeah well I hope you like this one something different so here we go well, onwards and upwards to the next one. And we'll see you all again next week with another video. We will. Uh, just a second. I'm just, I'll push that down. It won't necessarily clip, but there you go. I'll push it down. There is a clip that clips it in, but you've got to pick it up to do it. So that's it with a roof. Shut up. Funny little thing, this. Okay. Well, enjoy whatever you're doing. Be happy and be lucky and we'll see you again next week. Bye for now. Will they buy it? Eh? Will they buy it? Tune in next week to find out whether they buy it or not. <laughs> see you later. Bye.